I bought an apartment in Dubai. This isn't just a rental property, this is not just an Airbnb, this is my home, and this is my desert creator studio. Since I was just a kid, I had an ambitious dream to have homes in the places I wanted to be the most. And six months ago, it was time to go meet with the realtor. And so, we visited the showroom for Collective 2. Now, literally the very next day, I signed the papers, and I got the very last unit available. And as if that wasn't good enough, I found the most kick-ass interior designer who turned this place from kind of a cold white shell to... Let me give you a little house tour. Now, for those of you that know me, you know how much I love my life in Bali. And so to see me moving here to Dubai seems a little bit strange, but hear me out. For five years now, I've been coming to Dubai to go from the slow paced life of the island to a city in a desert. Simply put, contrast is the flavor of life. And I love that this city connects me to the fast paced nature of a business hub. And I love that I get access to this. So these are the common spaces that come with the building and they're absolutely incredible, super creative. You've got so much room to work if you want to get out of the room. You've got an unbelievably cool games room. And you got a cinema. Whoa. With the amazing common spaces and on top of that, the amazing things that Dubai Hills offers. That is what makes Collective 2, the building that I'm in, one of the most attractive places for me to live and hopefully for you to stay as well. And although it hasn't opened yet, there's soon to be a fully functional coffee shop where you can come from your room, get an amazing espresso, and then get to work. Now, this building has so much to offer. It has its pool, green space, it even has a little kids park, it's got parking, and it's even got a private gym, which I've been definitely making use of. But for me, the best thing about it is the fact that I'm in Dubai Hills. I can go for a run, there's a skateboard park, there's a wave pool that's opening soon. There's the Dubai Hills Mall, which is actually my favorite mall in the UAE, just five minutes away. This place has it all. And that brings us to today, where I finally moved in to the Dubai headquarters. Feels really weird to say that. Over here we have Mrs. Ruby preparing us some breakfast at 4 p.m. <laughs> we have been just crushing work. I think in the last week that we've been staying here, we've left the house maybe twice, and we've been intermittent fasting, just really focusing on work, two meals a day, and it's just been beautiful. If you have the opportunity to stay here, you'll understand why we don't leave. It's just such a cozy space. It really feels like home. You guys already know that we travel for a living. We're always on the road between Airbnbs, hotels, we've seen it all. And it's an absolute blessing, but it's also really exhausting. One of the things is, no matter what your room looks like, whether it looks like this or like this, it doesn't really make much a difference because 99% of these properties will leave you feeling like something is missing, if you're staying for long enough at least. Whether it be a kitchen that's fully equipped with a blender, a panini press, and some spice racks. Whether it be a cuddle-worthy Netflix station with a beautiful blanket and a comfy couch and of course a kick-ass Bluetooth speaker system an office to work from hyper fast internet like I'm talking uploading hundreds of gigabytes overnight but the thing that I miss the most this right here <laughs> So now I'm gonna show you around the place. It's not gonna take us too long because there's only two bedrooms, but it is a very well thought out space. Uh, first of all, this whole place before was just like kind of bare, kind of cold. It had tile everywhere, everything was just white. And I was so, so fortunate. It's very rare where you're able to hire somebody and they can just totally take over and execute on your dreams, your visions. But my designer, crushed it. So to really optimize this space, what we've done here is we've built in this countertop and this is actually porcelain, so you can see the veins running through it. And what I love so much is that the backsplash is continuing from the table. So it has this really beautiful, elegant touch to it. But uh, I'm really excited about this. These are the bar stools, which I'm all about this kind of like, is it called cigar leather? I don't really know, I'm new to this, but it's like a very cool distressed kind of aged look. The lights got so much personality. And this is kind of my touch right now. So I'm gonna be honest, the house is not finished. What I'm showing you is still in process. Right now I'm trying to get my hands on more vintage cameras. Got one at the front, I'll show you in a little bit, but this is super dope. I think it's such a cool touch. Found the little Namaste hands, pretty tight. Um, honestly, this Nespresso machine has been really cool. Before this, I was using the little tiny pods, but I won't be doing that anymore. These big pods are 
so good and they're packed with flavor. They fill up an entire mug or you can get the espresso one if you want. So in here we've got a microwave, we've got a dishwasher and I love how all the things kind of feel like a continuous shelving unit. So this is one of the things that isn't quite finished. We're gonna be sealing up this space here, probably putting a little micro shelf in here for pots, pans. Up there we've got all sorts of storage. So. Everything with the tall ceilings that we have in here, especially in the main living area, it makes for a really nice breathable space, but also a lot of storage. So in the front entrance here, this is kind of like my personal project and you're seeing something that's not quite ready. In fact, I still haven't even replaced the picture frame, but uh, this is something I'm really excited about. Check this out. This is a vintage film camera right here. It even still works. So dope. So that, there's a little bit of the inspo of what's gonna happen here. I've been thinking about maybe having like a Polaroid system so that you guys can take a photo when you stay. I'd love to have like photos of everybody that's come through here. And uh, this is something I'm really excited about. We've got the Lost in Dubai LED neon looking sign. We can press this button and then if you turn around there, you'll see that the blinds are actually all set up to electronic systems. Got my little make today count, a little reminder from me. And one of the things that I really love, is we've got all of these lights all triggered by remotes. For me, this is probably one of the best things you can do to your house if you're looking to renovate. Just spend a few hundred dollars putting in LED lights and it makes your house feel so much more cozy and it's not so expensive. Now, let me show you the workspace. And I'm not joking when I say this was filmed four months later. We were stalled by one part that was being shipped from China but it's arrived and it's literally the piece that makes this room so unique and so versatile. With the push of a button, it's going to slowly lower itself down. So you can now flexibly have a second bedroom and during the daytime, you can put it up and have this incredible workspace. I invested in a really nice leather chair that's sturdy, comfortable. Another addition to the whole home has been these sheer blinds. I've installed them because I think they bring this really glowy ambiance. Just behind me here, we have installed these really cool decorative lights that kind of create this mood and vibe inside of this room. And inside here is where we keep the box lights and I'll tell you more about that in a second. But let me take you back a few months. Now one of the things I'm most excited about for this space is the creator tools I'm including with it. Because whenever I'm traveling, the last thing I want is box lights, tripods, all taking up the space of my suitcase. So these things are gonna be staying here in the place. If you create videos or you know do Zoom calls, you'll be able to have all the professional gear here and waiting for you, which makes such a big difference. So coming out of the room now, this is where we spend a lot of our time. Between here, doing work on the kitchen table and having this space. One of the things that I miss most about home is having a cozy space. A lot of places have TVs, but then when you sit down, you're like, I wouldn't actually wanna watch a movie here or I wouldn't wanna actually spend time. That's why I've invested in the blankets, the carpet, the cozy Chesterfield. We have like a full TV package, a 65 inch TV, and the sound system is pretty dope. It connects Bluetooth so it can be used for just music, the TV, and there's a subwoofer right behind you. But overall, there's something about having an intimate space that just brings this kind of sense of coziness and we have not left at all. Like we have no desire to. One of the extra touches that I'm actually doing is I'm gonna be ripping out all these sockets. We're gonna be putting in international ones because there's nothing more annoying than checking in somewhere and being like, I can't plug in my stuff. So by the time you get here, that'll be solved. Now I'm gonna show you the view because it is probably the best thing of this property. Come take a look. Well, I mean, I can dream, can't I? Maybe someday, but for today, this is our view. It's not bad, it's not special, but that's not really the point of this property. I actually have a direct view of the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building, but there's also a power line in the way, so. One of the best things about where I'm staying is actually the area. So I'm in probably the best neighborhood in Dubai. It's called Dubai Hills Estate, and with that comes a lot of amazing amenities. So I'll continue the room tour tomorrow, but I wanna get the sunset in. It's actually kind of a cooler day today, considering it's summer in a desert. So I'll show you what's so cool about this neighborhood. This is why I chose to move to Dubai Hills. It is so stunning. This whole track is about two kilometers long. You can see it's like this purple padded runway. So it's really good on the knees. There's beautiful grass fields everywhere. And of course, sweet dogs. Lots of dog parks in the area. 
Who would have thought a two bedroom house tour would take two days, but let's finish it up. There's not much more to show. Right in here, this is the laundry and dryer. It also comes equipped with this bad boy right here. I was doing a lot of research on like what makes for a good Airbnb, and apparently one of the best things you can do is put in good cleaning equipment so that people that stay long term or even medium term can feel like they're able to clean after themselves. So that's why we got a Dyson. Here, we've got the bathroom, and uh, it's got a shower, toilet, sink. It's got a lot of storage, which is great, so you can completely unload all your cosmetics, your makeup, whatever you got. And lastly, to end off this house tour, I have to show you the coziest space in the entire house, and that is the master bedroom. I bought this place as like a creator hub, if you will. So. For me, the number one priority was productivity, and a part of productivity is good sleep. I've invested in the most comfortable memory foam mattress. Definitely cost a pretty penny, but you literally can't put a price on the value you get from a good night's sleep. We had some custom-built shelving units to give you more storage space. It's got a beautiful fabric backboard with an LED underglow. We've got counters on both sides with not just outlets, but also USB plugs so that you can charge your phone. Now on to you. If you're coming to Dubai and you want to do it the right way with your very own home base that allows you to experience the best of the region while being able to keep on with your business, while being able to enjoy a movie night and a great night's sleep, then come on over. My place is waiting for you and I can't wait to have you stay and see for yourself the amount of love and attention to detail that has gone into this place. So if you're ready to get lost in Dubai and stay over at mine, then and check that link down below. And guys, let's get lost again in the next one.